Hi everyone, this is Jamie from WC Vendors and today I'm going to give you an overview of the WC Vendors settings pages. The general settings tab is where you set your base marketplace options. This is where you enable or disable the ability for vendors to register themselves, whether they need to be approved, what happens after a vendor logs in, locking them out of the dashboard, as well as several other options as you can see. The commissions tab is where you configure what commissions you give to the vendors. This is the percentage, for instance, that you would give to your vendor, meaning that the marketplace will earn 30%. The capabilities tab is where you configure the permissions for your vendors, including products, orders, and trash. Enable and disable various options for your products. So whether vendors are able to add or edit their products, whether they're allowed to edit live products, whether they can publish products directly without requiring approval. And we also have the ability for them to import or export their products. With orders, you can allow them to be able to view their orders, export their orders, or see front end sales reports. And then under the pro features, you can disable various options so that they don't show up on the main dashboard. The product specifics is where you can enable or disable specific kinds of products or product tabs, as well as the ability to delete or duplicate products. Orders is where you have information where if you don't want to display customer information like email or shipping addresses, if you're selling digital products, then you can disable that. The order table also allows you to enable or disable various order actions that you see on the orders tab. The display tab allows you to configure various aspects of the display on your front end. This includes the defined pages that are required to run your marketplace, including the vendor dashboard and terms and conditions. This is also where you configure the various settings for the vendor stores, including the store slug, whether you're enabling headers on their stores and product pages, and which shop header to use. We we provide three shop headers that you. You also have the ability to configure various labels on the front end, such as sold by, uh, the vendor term. So if you have, say, an artist marketplace, then you can replace all references on the front end from vendor to artist. This can also all be done via translation plugin. The advanced tab allows you to enable advanced settings, such as single product tools or specific theme support as well as vertical navigation. The header priorities and single priorities allows you to change when the header will load depending on your theme. The pro dashboard settings is where you set the default settings for the vendor dashboard. This includes the date ranges for the dashboard overview and orders, as well as add extra menu items, including view your store and log out. Branding is where you can set a default banner for the store pages in case your vendors haven't set a header yet. You can set one here, and this is what will be shown on all pages. Colors allow you to configure the colors used on the graphs for the vendor store. This allows you to ensure that your colors for the graphs are in line with your theme's colors. Notices are where you configure notices that are displayed in various areas of the registration process, including a sign-up notice, your pending vendor notice, and your approved vendor notice. The advanced tab is our plugin uninstall options. If you need to remove all WC vendors, data from your database, then you can select which data you want to remove, be it all of the data, just custom tables, settings, pages, or custom roles. This can be very helpful if you're trying to debug an issue where you need to reset a specific part of WC vendors, such as your settings. The form settings is the most powerful part of the vendor dashboard on the front end. These settings areas allow you to configure the various options for hiding and showing fields within the different forms on the vendor dashboard including the product forms, coupon forms, settings, and sign-up forms. There's so many options within here that we're gonna create a completely separate video to go through every single option and show you how it works. The vendor ratings tab is where you can figure out how your vendor rating systems work. The feedback system, you can start all your vendors at a five-star rating until they get their first feedback. This is to ensure that everyone's feedback isn't showing zero when you first launch your market. You also have the ability to sync your feedback system with WooCommerce's inbuilt reviews. Product Reports is our new product reporting system, which provides the ability for customers and vendors to report products. This could be for abuse reasons, copyright, or any reason that you create. That's it for this overview. If you have any questions or queries, feel free to contact us via our support forms, or you can reach out to us on Twitter or comment on the video.